Hey, my name is Wenda, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best tips and tricks on how to use GoodNotes for digital planning. Hi, I'm Wenda, and today we're going to be taking a look at GoodNotes and learning about all the tips and tricks on how you can use it for your digital planner. So I love this app because it's just so simple and easy to use, and I'm going to show you guys all of the greatest tips and tricks on how to use it. So let's just get started. All right, so the first tool we're going to be talking about is the lasso tool. So the lasso tool is this squiggly line tool at the top right here. and you can select either the handwriting only, or you can select images only, or you can select text boxes only, or you can just do all three. So adjust it any way you want. So let's say, for example, I want to get all of my writing and text boxes, but not the images. So I don't want to move any of my stickers around. So I can easily do that just by going like this. So you see I get all of the handwritten things and my text boxes and my highlights. So I love that you can kind of customize it any way you want that way. And you can use the lasso tool to convert things. So you can convert this to a text and then you could copy it. You can move things around very easily. You can resize anything and it's just very easy to use. All right, and then the next tool I want to talk about is the new elements tool. So I have a dedicated video on that already, but I want to just briefly talk about um, some cool things you can do with the elements tool. So let's say, for example, I have this whole morning routine and it's always the same every single day. So I can just grab this whole thing and actually add that to an element. So I'm going to add that as an element into my tasks right here, my task. And now when I go to the next day, I can easily go to that element, go to your tasks, and at the very bottom you'll see that. So it seems to be adding my other task as well, so I'm just going to delete that. So the cool thing about elements is everything, even though you add it as one element, you can still change each thing. So I thought that's pretty cool. And then, you know, you can have all of your stickers there. So if you want to see more about the elements tool, um, be sure to check out the video. I'll link it down below. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the text box tool. You can actually change the fonts. Um, it's really easy to add fonts. Um, I use an app called iFont and it walks you through exactly how to do it. It's super easy. So I have all these custom fonts here. Um, and then if you want to have it um, always be the same font and size, all you have to do is, you know, choose whatever font you want and then choose a size and then click on the text box and put save as default. Um, another thing I want to talk about the text tool um, is the text box style. They came out with this text box styling and you can change it to anything you want. Let me show you. So you can make it have rounded corners, a shadow, have a border, and then when you type, you'll see that it creates a little, a little sticker. So I think that's a super nice and easy way to create stickers for yourself um, if you want. So, and if you want to save that as a default, you can just click here and save as default again. So I thought that's pretty cool that you can do that. Okay, so that's the lasso tool and text tool. Um, the third thing I want to talk about, or the fourth thing I want to talk about, is the eraser tool. So the eraser tool, they actually just came out with the precision eraser. Okay, so there are three types of erasers. The precision eraser, the standard eraser, and the stroke eraser. So the precision eraser will erase exactly what you put your mouse on. And then the standard eraser, it kind of, you know, erases it just like so. And then finally, the stroke eraser will erase the entire stroke. So if I click here, it'll erase the entire highlighter. So you can change the settings for the eraser to erase the highlighter only if you don't want to erase like your text. Um, and then if you want to switch in be between your current tool, so let's say I'm writing and I want to switch a quickly switch to the eraser tool, all I have to do on my Apple Pencil is double tap. So you just go like that and you see it switches to the eraser and then double tap again to go back. But with the eraser tool, it will automatically deselect if you have this on in the settings. 
So right after I erase something, it'll out automatically go back to the pen. But if you want to go to the eraser again, you can just click there. So it does that for whatever tool you're on. So if I'm on shapes and I want to go to the eraser tool, it'll go back to the uh, shape tool. Now for the fifth thing I want to talk about is the scrolling direction. Typically, um, when you first use GoodNotes, you will have it in a continuous scroll like so. So you'll you know, be flipping through your planner like this. But if you want to have, you know, the horizontal scroll, all you have to do is click on these three dots, scrolling direction, and change it to horizontal. And I like having the horizontal because it feels more like you're flipping pages. So, you know, whatever you prefer. On my phone, I actually go vertical since um, it's a lot easier on the phone to just scroll through the pages. But on my iPad, I like having it horizontal. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, you know, like some tips and tricks on customizing your PDF. So this is a PDF, so I can't, you know, erase this Tuesday, August 3rd, or anything else on here. But some of the ways that you can get around that is by using the lasso tool, and you can just screenshot a part of the white um, background, and then just copy it, and then paste it, and then you can, you know, easily cover up the date if you want. Um, just like that. And now you have, you know, an undated daily page. Um, you can alternatively use a white pen. So just get, go to the pen and click on the white color. And this way you can, you know, change like a specific time. So instead of 6 a.m. or, you know, instead of 7 a.m., 8 a.m., you can, you know, customize it to your own times say you don't wake up until 9 a.m. You can change all that. Okay, so that's, you know, a little trick that a lot of people use to cover up whatever is on the PDF. Okay, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the colors. So you can add your own custom colors. So if you go to your pen color or your highlighter color, you can go here and then click on custom. And if you know the hex code, you can add the hex code. You can use one of these or you can use the wheel. I always like using the wheel. And then you can get a custom color, whatever color you like. And then you just add it to your presets and it'll pop up in your most used, you know, colors. And then you can also, um, you can add more if you wanted to as well. Okay, and then if you want to go back to your original, you can just go to Restore Color Set. Okay, um, and the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to customize your sticker sizes. So let's say, for example, down here, um, this sticker is, maybe I want it to be, you know, fit perfectly between 8 and 10. If you were to use the lasso tool and just resize, it, you know, it changes the whole um, aspect of it. So it changes the width and the height. But if you were to use the picture tool, so this is the image tool right here. In GoodNotes, you can actually change the width and the height of the pic of the sticker or image by itself. So you can see here, I can change it to any size I want. So this is perfect for um, if you have those box stickers and you want it to fit perfectly in your squares, you can use this tool. And then you can make it you know, perfectly fit anything you want. So I love using the image tool for that. Okay, um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is the is adding you know pages. So if you have custom sections like you do, like I do in my planners, um, you can actually add your own printables and you know add different pages. So to add these pages, all you would need to do say if you want to duplicate this page, so this is actually a blank page and I just copied over this weekly schedule, you could just go to add and then add the current template and it'll duplicate that same page. So if I want to do that, then it's another blank page there. I have another video that shows more in detail on how to do this, but let's say I wanted to add one of these templates into my other planner. So let's say I want to do the cleaning routines. And let's say I want to add just this page only into my portrait planner. So a way to do that would be to use the lasso tool. And then you can just screenshot it and then hit copy. 
then go over to your planner and then just paste it and resize it to fit inside of the planner. So you can do this with any printable. So if you find a free printable and you want to put it into the planner, this is a super easy way to do that. Um, and if you want to move these white pages around, so let's say um, you need more white pages and they aren't where you want it to be, all you'd have to do is find the white, the blank page. So there's my blank page and I'm just going to hit copy. And then I'm going to go to where I want it to be pasted. So I'm going to go into section 8. Let's go to section 8. And then we're going to hit that add button and we're going to paste the page. So we already copied the blank page and now we're pasting the page. So this is perfect if you want to move stuff around. So, you know, for example, let's say I want to move all of my cleaning routine pages. I just have to drag it and drop it. And I think you could do that with multiple. So let's see. Yeah, see, so I can grab two of these and then I can move it maybe to here if I wanted to. There we go. Okay, so you can easily rearrange your planner super easily that way. Um, another thing I notice a lot of people have trouble with are opening links. Um, you know, usually you have to be in the view mode. So this is the editing mode and this is the view mode. So you have to keep clicking that in order for the links to work. Um, but if you are in editing mode and you want to quickly go, you know, click on a tab, you can easily do that simply by holding down and then it'll have this menu pop up and you could do open link. So you don't even have to switch into edit mode or view mode. So if, as long as you just hold it down, there should be a menu that pops up and it'll say open link. And then you can click on that to go to the other link. So you can do that just like that. Okay, another cool thing about GoodNotes is that you can search even your handwriting. So if, you, if we go to search, we can find um, organize, read that a lot, and it will find all the instances of when you wrote organize. So this is my handwriting and it was able to find it. So the search um, option in GoodNotes is very powerful and I love that it can read my handwriting. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the shape tool. So let's say um, you want to make check boxes but you're in the pen tool. If you hold it down, it should create a box for you instantly. So if you hold it down, it'll make a shape. Or you could just use the shape tool and it'll automatically make the shape for you without you having to hold it down. But you do have to turn on that setting, I think. You have to, right here, under the pen tool, there's settings, and then draw and hold. So you want to Make sure that draw and hold is on and then snap to other shapes it's on. And then when this is also great if you want to make straight lines. Okay, um, another thing I get asked all the time is if you can use, if you can sync up your Google Calendar with your digital planner. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to do that in GoodNotes. Um, if you use Zoom Notes, you can, but if you are in GoodNotes, then there really isn't a way but I like to use it side by side. So I would just open up my Google Calendar and then have my digital planner on the side like this. And then if I wanna add a task from my digital planner, all I do is add event in Google Calendar, and then use your lasso tool and lasso around what you wanna add, and then just hold it and drag it. And it should add your task into your Google Calendar like that. So you can add it to whatever calendar you want and then you can save it. That's a way around to, you know, using your, if you want reminders for certain events in your digital planner in your Google Calendar. Okay, and then um, another thing I want to talk about is the split screen option. So there are multiple ways that you can open up different files or, you know, things into GoodNotes. So the easiest way is just using the split screen feature and it'll open it in a new window. And then you can, let's say I want to look at my project planning page while I'm on my daily planning page. So all I'd have to do is just go back into my documents and open up my basic planner again. So it's on the same page, but let's say for this one, I want to go to my projects and then I can, um, then I could see easily what I have 
And then when I'm planning my day, I could be like, oh yeah, I could work on my holiday stickers this day. So that's a cool way to use the split screen option. So you can do this with, you know, any app. So like I did it earlier with Google Calendar. So you can do it if you want to use it with Safari. If you want to bring in, you know, images or stickers from the web, you can, you know, drag and drop super easily. Um, there are a number of ways of how you can open up this split screen. So the, the split window is the first way I showed you. Another way is to pull up your dock and then just open up a new GoodNotes. Um, a new GoodNotes window. So you can do that. Okay, so if you're in this window and you want to open up a new page from the same planner, just go to thumbnails and then just grab your thumbnail of the page you want to open up and then just drag it and drop it into a new window. Um, another way is to just use the menu. So let's say I want to open this one up. You just go click on the bottom arrow and then click on open in new window. You can also do this just by dragging a file out. So let's say I wanted to open that, I could just drag it out to a new window. Okay, so those are all the ways that you can use this, all the ways to open up a new split screen window. Um, and finally, the last thing I want to talk about is scanning. So if you watched my sticker video, you know that I always use the scanning uh, feature to open up, I mean to scan all of my stickers. So um, to do that, all you would have to do is click on new and then you can do scan documents. So let me get a document. Let's say I just want to scan my cleaning checklist open up the camera so the camera is on right now and I'm just going to open it and then just do that and it should automatically scan it but if it doesn't then you can just click it and then the cool thing is that it will automatically um, find the image so that you can adjust the uh, you can adjust the box to fit exactly where you want it to take so I want this whole card and I'm just going to put keep scan and then when you see it it kind of you know makes it a little wider and then you can you know start drawing on it so I thought that's pretty cool so if you and then you just hit save and it'll import the document to wherever you were and then you know you can use that as your checklist now and then I could just check it off as I'm cleaning so and I could use this on my phone um, so I have my good notes with GoodNotes, it's a one-time purchase and you can use it for your phone, your iMac or MacBook, and your iPad all together with that one purchase. And when it's all synced, everything updates. So whatever I write in here will be updated on my phone. And I just love using it on my phone when I'm on the go. Um, if at nighttime an idea pops into my head, I can just use my phone and quickly you know, type in whatever task I need to do. So, um, so yeah, so those are all the different ways, all the tips and tricks that I have for using GoodNotes with digital planning. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long and you got a lot out of it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, um, just let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks so much for watching and see you guys in my next video.